doing a video that's definitely different from what I've been doing. I'm gonna be doing the stay at home mom tag. I just hit 50 subscribers this morning, so I thought that'd be fun for my current subscribers and any new subscribers to kind of get to know my stay at home mom life a little bit better. My name is Cassidy, I am 23 years old, and I've been a stay at home mom for the past three, almost three years. I'm just gonna jump right into the questions. First question is, are you a stay at home mom or a work at home mom? I am a stay at home mom. Did you, why did you choose to be a stay at home mom? Um, mostly it was financials. I mean, of course I wanted to be there with my kids, but I did enjoy working. I liked my job at the time, but a lot of it was just financial reason. How old are your children? Riley, my daughter, is three, soon to be four, and LJ, my son, is two, soon to be three. Are you a part of any mom groups or play groups? No, never have been. Uh, looked into being in some when I first, like the first year of staying home. Do you have it together every day? Not even close. Um, no, I've not ever. <laughs> the, uh, there is certain parts of my day I feel like oh yeah I've got this together but not even like a full day and I definitely don't have it together every day do you have a daily routine or go with the flow a little bit of both uh, I have a routine in the sense that like I wake up about the same time every day the kids eat lunch and take a nap right about the same time every day we eat dinner and the kids go to bed just about the same time every day so those certain things are like half an hour to an hour windows that I like to keep. I have a range, I guess, for a schedule, but everything in between and even sometimes those things are just kind of go with the flow. How long do you plan to stay home? Until my kids are in school. Um, so another just over two years. When LJ starts kindergarten, I will be looking for a part-time job. The only reason I would stay home is if I got like a work at home type of job and that was going to be sufficient enough while they're in school to make it worth it still, then I'd probably stay home still just to keep the flexibility and keep the income as well. But other than that, once LJ goes to school, I will be definitely getting a part-time job. Do you keep up with the housework or share? I do all of the housework. I just feel like that's fair. Do you do anything for extra money? Yes, I do. I babysit a little boy five days a week. Uh, I don't make a ton, but I make enough that, you know, it helps living off one income a little bit easier. Uh, what do you love about being a stay-at-home mom? I mean, I love everything about it. I love that I even have the opportunity to do this. I know there are so many moms out there that are just not in a position to do it, whether they're a single mom or you're a family and you just you know, financially can't. I think this is probably an answer that a lot of stay-at-home moms give, is just being able to see all a lot of their firsts, a lot of, you know, their first steps, their first words. LJ recently started to really grasp his colors, and that's something like, woohoo, he can tell red from blue, but, you know, it was such a big moment for him. He had been, like, never cared enough to pay attention to it and then all of a sudden one day he was like, this is red, this is blue. And I was like, oh my God, that is amazing. So just stuff like that. And like Briley a couple months ago, she started telling jokes, little stuff like that. What do you hate about being a stay at home mom? I don't, I don't think I necessarily hate anything. I think some days are harder than others, whether it's just because of me, maybe I'm tired. Um, maybe I'm just in a bad mood or it's the kids, maybe they're tired and in a bad mood, you know, they're just having a day full of tantrums. I'd say one of the hardest things adjusting to being a stay-at-home mom, like I never, never hated it. Being a stay-at-home mom is very monotonous. And um, I think the first year, for me anyway, it was a lot of adjusting, going from being a, work, a working mom to a stay-at-home mom, just that adjustment period was hard, but I definitely don't say I hate or even dislike anything about it. Did you know you wanted to be a stay-at-home mom? Not even a little bit. Um, I worked for the first year of Riley's life until I had LJ, and I was okay with that. We had 
JT's mom was watching her during the, well, during our working hours. Um, we were paying her, but not nearly as much as we would a daycare. And I, I enjoyed working. I enjoyed where I was working. I enjoyed what I was doing. But like I said earlier, a lot of it just played into financials. And when we realized how much we would be spending on daycare versus how much I would be bringing home every week, it just, it didn't really add up for us. And then once I kind of got the idea in my head, yes, I was like, okay, yeah, I definitely want to be a stay at home mom. But it wasn't something like as soon as I became a mom or as soon as I knew I was pregnant with Briley, I was like, oh, I want to be a stay at home mom so bad. Like I really I didn't have any interest in it, but I am so grateful that I am able to do it. And that, you know, I took the opportunity because I obviously kept could have kept working and you know brought home that little bit of extra money because um, it helps you know every little bit helps but i'm so glad that we're able to make it work the way that it is right now what does your partner do for work he is an assistant manager of a, a retail store i guess you call it when do you shower morning or night night just about always do you put on makeup every day nope Probably once a week, maybe. <laughs> Do you style your hair every day? If this counts as styling, then sure. Otherwise, no. Do you work out and when? Not anymore. What is your cleaning schedule like? Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. I do what I can when I can. <laughs> Basically, um, no. I mean, I have. It's kind of like my, you know, my daily routine. It's kind of, I have certain things that I try to get done at a certain point in the day and everything else just kind of falls in between. Do you have alone time with your significant other? Yes. Just about every night when we put the kids to bed, you know, we have a couple hours before we go to bed or before one of us wants to get up and do something that we try to spend together. Or we'll do that stuff before and then hang out afterwards. But I'd say most nights we have um, alone time once a week or every other week or so I'll put the kids to bed and we'll just we'll go grocery shopping instead of everybody going um, you know we like to do that because it's you know it's family time but it's grocery shopping so if we can get it done you know Saturday night instead and then leave Sunday open to do other things then we try to do that and it gives us a little bit of special time JT's parents just watch the kids for us. They're, I mean, they're usually sleeping or if Riley's not sleeping, then she hangs out with them. Do I have me time? Um, same sort of thing, I guess. Um, when we're either done spending time together and you know, JT likes to play his PlayStation games and whatnot, um, you know, after an hour or two of just hanging out and watching the show and whatever, sometimes he'll get on his game and I'll you know, I'll just sit in bed and watch YouTube. That's like my me time. Or I'll fold laundry and watch YouTube and that's my me time. Um, so I consider that to be my me time because being a stay at home mom, you are literally on demand 24 seven. And if I can have, you know, an hour of my time that is just for me, whether even if it's folding laundry, you know, I'm watching a YouTube video that I want to watch. I, the kids are sleeping, so I'm not having to do anything for them. So yeah, I do get me time. And you know, once in a while I will go to the store by myself. You know, it's only like a 20 minute ride there and back. But sometimes that's just enough to kind of take a breath and reset and just, you know, be, be better, I guess. So that's all the questions I have. That was, that went quick. I was quicker than I thought. I'm really excited that I hit 50 subscribers. I know it's not a ton, but it's a lot to me and it means a lot to me. So I just wanted to say thank you and I thought that this would be a really fun way to have my current subscribers get to know me a little bit better. If you want to see more sit, sit down Q&A type of videos, let me know. Leave a question in the comments below and maybe when I hit 100 subs, I will do like a Q&A style video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all next time.